What is up, metal and heavy music fans? It's Flight of Icarus again with MetalTrenches.com, and these are my, and a few of my friends, favorite black metal albums of 2021 so far. And hey, if you like to be kept up to date with the best damn brightest metal bands and albums from the underground and above, then stick with me by hitting that subscribe button down below. All right, my pick is Woad with Burn in Many Mirrors. Woad is an English black and death metal band that quite adeptly straddles the line between these two genres, never fully conforming to the trappings of either. This is their third album, and I gotta say, I think it's their best so far. Burn in Many Mirrors is loaded with evil atmosphere and so many memorable moments. You've got the ominous opening march of the drums and tremolo lines on Lunar Madness. ultimately giving way to headbanging D-beat and insidious reverb-soaked snarls. There's the painkiller-esque drum solo kicking off Serpent's Coil. leading into triumphant, folky, melodic guitar harmonies that are beyond infectious. And of course, the very tribulation-sounding fire in the hills with its more gothic atmosphere and subtle organ. It's truly amazing just how much mileage Wode managed to get out of the usual bag of tricks here. Not a second is wasted, and a keen focus on dynamic songwriting keeps it engaging all the way through. It's a real achievement to be proud of, right down to a breathtaking closer that rivals even Shamash in its profound atmosphere. What's up, guys? We're Forge Master Metal Reviews. We are a metal YouTube channel that gives you the most out of metal from the perspective of metal musicians and metal music producers. That's right. Thanks so much to Metal Trenches for having us on the show. If you haven't subbed to any of these other reviewers' channels, they all do some really killer things for the metal scene. You should check them all out. And while you're at it, head on over to our page. Give us a sub if you want top lists, metal producer reactions, interviews, and album reviews. Mayor Cognitum, Solar Paroxysm, released March 19th. I feel like black metal is the only genre, with a few exceptions, of course, where there's this rite of passage for the one-man black metal epic journeys throughout the mystical cosmos or forests of darkness. Mayor Cognitum is made up of one-man mastermind, Jacob Buksarski, who has made some of the most influential and impressive black metal records over the last couple of years. Atmospheric and melodic black metal are kind of oversaturated, to be honest, with you, but Mare Cognitum seemed to constantly improve and develop fantastic new chasms to explore in the black metal landscape. Solar Paroxysm marks Jacob's fifth full length, focusing on the cosmos and wandering mysticism beyond reach of humankind. Being relatively new to Mark Agnetum, the fact Jacob is capable of making albums so quickly and composing everything himself is really nothing short of mind-blowing to me. Being a musician myself, my mind salivates at the idea of having all of these abilities right at my fingertips at any given moment. I have a massive amount of respect for those in the metal world willing to go DIY as much as humanly possible. And that's really part of the monumental success that Mark Cognatum has, being able to constantly release this mind-blowing material. That's right, each song is a swirling chasm of the astral plane, taking the listener on an outward journey throughout the universe's infinitely violent and beautiful construction. Solar Paroxysm's ability to just reach out its hand and guide the listener through its wonderful world is a really, really amazing thing. Don't sleep on this album if you haven't heard it yet. It is absolutely album of the year list material. We're gonna give this a perfect score. Five out of five, Blazing Suns. Good morning, metalheads of the internet. My name is Robert Walton. I am the host of the Metal Meltdown right here on YouTube. And my pick for best black metal album of 2021 so far is And Again in the Light from Panopticon.
It has been a spectacular year for black metal, no arguing otherwise, with huge standout records from Tribulation, Woad, Kralis, Spectral Wound, and many more. But I'm picking this album specifically not only because I think it is the best black metal album of 2021, but because I believe it shows Panopticon at their most cohesive, at their most refined, at their most powerful, and triumphant. This one-man black metal project's unique fusion of atmospheric black metal metal, melodic black metal, Appalachian folk music, and Americana has always been incredibly fascinating to me, but never before has it resonated with me in the same way that it does on this very album. Partially because the lush and evocative keyboards and strings and slide guitars and the dreary melodies contrasted with that ferocious black metal is taking me back to a much simpler time where I traveled the United States with my family, where I traveled all through North and South Carolina, Kentucky, and Tennessee, to where I stayed in a log cabin in, in the winter in the Smoky Mountains. It's deeply comforting to the point of being nostalgic for me. I can practically picture the Smoky Mountains now in my mind as I simply tell you about this album. But also partially because I think this is the most honest and emotionally vulnerable Austin has been on any of his releases. This is not black metal born out of spite, born out of hatred. This is black metal born out of maturity, humility, growth, and perseverance. It is black metal that is actively trying to see the light at the end of the tunnel. And I love every single second of it, from the breathtaking strings of dead loons, to the utter brutality of Rope Burn Exit, to the evocative and nostalgic Appalachian folk of the album's title track, to the album's absolutely massive and massively heartfelt album closer, No Hope. It's just so consistently, sonically, and emotionally devastating. In my official review of this album, I gave it a 5 out of 5, and I stand the fuck by it. If for whatever reason you have yet to hear this record, get on that shit ASA motherfucking P. Alright, cool. Fuck it. I'm done. If you liked what I had to say on this channel, then make sure you check out mine if you haven't already, and make sure you check out all of the lovely channels belonging to all of the lovely people who are also in this video, if you also have not already. Thank you, Trenches, for having me on. Hey, I'm Alex from Pair of Jeans Reviews, and my pick for the best black metal album of 2021 so far has to go to A Diabolic Thirst by Spectral Wound. I really enjoyed this record, and considering I'm not the biggest black metal fan, I think that really says a lot about this record and how much you should go check it out. I'm not like, like I like some black metal, but I don't find myself really going back to many of these albums, even like the classic albums by like Emperor or Dark Throne, and I'd say Dark Throne is probably my favorite like classic black metal band. This record has everything that I like about Dark Throne, but mixed with like this great production where it's like you could hear all the drums like on those old like dark throne records like uh transylvanian hunger or under funeral moon the drums are like non-existent almost so on this record they're very in your face you could hear everything the guitar tone is really good and crispy while still being raw the vocals fit perfectly in the mix like they're not too loud but they're also like kind of quiet so it's kind of cool and yeah I just think the riffs are really great on this record and they have like that kind of black metal vibe that I like in terms of old Dark Throne has like a melodic nature to it that really draws me in. It's almost somber and sad while still being dark and aggressive in the way that it's presented. I think this record does a great job of recreating that but in a modern way while still, you know, being true, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, I think the songwriting is really great on it. Like I think a lot of black metal kind of sticks around in terms of like the songwriting and you know a section will go on for three minutes or so this record keeps the sections coming and going while still being memorable and you know catchy because i could tell you how some of these songs go and i think for black metal at least for me i can't really do that for a lot of those old records that are some of my favorites like some of those emperor or mayhem or dark throne records so this is really my pick when metal trenches asked me what my favorite was this was the only record I could think of because it's the only black metal record that I found myself going back to. So thanks for him for including me in this video. Thanks to all the other people. So go support everyone that's in this video because this is awesome. And yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs> Close
Hey Flight of Icarus, thanks for including me in this video. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Fainer and I run another music channel here on YouTube. So for my pick, I'm going with Pale Swordsman by Kekt a rock. And what sets this apart from the pack is that it eschews the traditional icy and harsh sound palette of black metal for one which emphasizes a sense of antiquity. It's a concept album which tells the tale of a cursed vampire. He hates himself for what he is and is remorseful that he has to kill others in order to fulfill his bloodlust. So while his nights are spent wandering the forests in search of prey, his days are spent mournfully playing his piano and contemplating his condition. In total, the combination of raw black metal, prominent piano work, and a mournful tale reminiscent of something by Edgar Allan Poe make this one of the most complete and cohesive works of art I've ever heard come out of this genre. And when you listen to this, it doesn't feel like another icy, desolate landscape. It feels more like if you were in an antique shop and you came across this book only to find that it's actually the diary of a vampire from some bygone era of castles and haunted forests. And if you'd like to hear a little bit more about this album before you dive in, I have a full review of it on my channel where I also talk about a lot of music outside of metal. So that's all I've got for today and I hope you enjoy everyone else's picks as well. And those are our picks. If you enjoyed this one, also consider checking out my best death metal of 2021 so far list. And of course, subscribe to all of our channels for even more daily metal reviews, interviews, lists, and more. You can also chat with us on the Discord and support on Patreon. But that'll do it for now. Flight of Icarus signing off. I will see you in the trenches.